you know, share what you will or, or just say, hey, let's move mm-hmm. on. But I'm just curious, like what what uh, what about this year um, made this year so special? Um, what made it so special? Well, uh, earlier in the year, uh, I wasn't sure if I, I had you know, uh, cancer or what in the upper right quadrant of my uh, of my kidney. So they, they, I was told that this, uh, I guess this cyst was, uh, they were calling it complex or cancerous. They weren't sure. And it was like uh, between, in my kidney, uh, between where your lung and your liver are like right there. So, uh, so I had this procedure done where they stuck a needle through my back, straight through the kidney to the cyst and they froze it, let it thaw out and then they froze it again. <laughs> a little thing shattered. And it was a, it was like really small. It was like a, I think they said it was like one centimeter. Now they said at one point one centimeter. They said, well, uh, it was two centimeters. Then we, it would be like great concern. But they really weren't sure what it was. So uh, I went, you know, weeks and months not really knowing. Okay, if I had cancer or not, and so forth. And as a result of that, I was already going through some uh, changes in my life. To begin with, so I, there was a lot of different themes that I got from this year, but but uh, that really, you know, I guess thinking that hey, um, uh, hey, if this is cancer, then I don't know how long you know I would have here and what's going on. I lost uh, several family members to cancer. I lost my sister to cancer about the in 2018. So I, I, I really wasn't sure what was going on. With my I felt fine and so forth, but it was this foreign object in it that I couldn't see and I couldn't do anything about it. So that, that really made me just, you know, I have a different outlook on life. And then when I looked over my entire life, I realized that um, God, who I had issues with through my entire life, feeling that uh, uh, he was, I, I could never please him. He was always out to get me that type of stuff. But yet I, you know, I loved him because that's what I was supposed to do. And that's what I was taught. And that's how I was raised. And that's what I know I should do. But I realized that, hey, I caused all of the problems in my life. I made all of these decisions. And God, more every time, tried to, to uh, stop me from making those decisions. But I went ahead and did them anyway. And I had to reevaluate that whole relationship. I was cool with Jesus because he was like my big brother. He was the one that, you know, I can kind of ask, you know, for forgiveness. He's going to do it for me because he died for our sins. God, on the other hand, I wasn't too sure about. <laughs> so, uh, and, um, and that was funny that I had that whole separation in my mind type of thing going on. But uh, it wasn't until the whole thing with, uh, with my kidney um, going away to, uh, Kentucky and California, um, I was alone with the person that I, I least liked in my lifetime, and that was me. And I had many moments alone with me. And um, I didn't realize over my life, I, I didn't like myself. I didn't love myself. I never thought I was handsome. Um, I never... Um, I don't know, I just would beat myself up. I would take 100% of the blame of everything, uh, with everything. Um, yeah, I just, I, I carried that stuff my entire life. And uh, it wasn't until being alone in those areas that I realized that, yes, God does love me. I'm okay. Um, you know, um, God loves me. Um I can get over myself. I, I don't have to take myself so seriously. Um, I have much life to live. I, I have more things to do, um, and everything's gonna be okay. You know, I I, I finally understood uh, a lot of things that were that were actually going on in my life, and it and it and it took me to be away from everyone and everything to kind of realize that, and. Um, it was quite an experience it really was and it, and it really it really strengthened my relationship with with god tremendously on a whole nother level 